one fourth cup with green cardamoms. So the water is already coming to a boil. Maybe one day I would like to upgrade to a bigger uh, marble pestle and mortar. decided to uh, shoot um, how I make my almond milk. There are different versions of it around the world but the basic recipe is the same and my recipe, me being an Indian obviously is more Indian. In fact I'm even using Indian almonds. Basically I shifted over to almond milk because I have lactose intolerance and after uh, after like I have such a sad story whenever I think about lactose intolerance of mine because I actually suffered a lot because of it during my childhood back then like I don't think people had heard about something like lactose intolerance and even my family or my elders had not heard about it and I have these painful memories where I just didn't want to have milk but I was forced to and then I would either throw up or have a loose motion and that was the story every morning it was, it was very unpleasant. But yeah, then as I started growing up, I, I, I started thinking, you know, that what's happening, this is not making sense and this is not how we're supposed to feel if we're after we drinking something which is supposed to be so nutritious and one of my uncles then so he was more aware about things so he introduced me to soy milk those days there used to be this brand called soy milky then sofit became more popular i think sofit is still popular but i don't buy into that because i feel like it's um, not only overpriced but it also has too much of sugar in it and I, I, I feel like it's, it's not doing something good for me because initially as a change from um, normal milk it was great I, I stayed constant on soy milk for a lot of years actually but then after that it started to like fade out i i had become more conscious i'd started researching more i came across the side effects of almond um sorry soy milk and i was like yeah maybe i shouldn't be pushing this so hard maybe i should look for an alternative and plus i really don't like the sugars which are being put uh, the the amount of sugar which is being put and it just doesn't make sense because it's just a small percentage of soy more is water and sugar plus whatever else that they're adding so yeah i was really looking for an alternative so as i was getting more dissatisfied with um the soy milk I was like, okay, maybe I can make it at home. And then I tried making it at home. I didn't like it at all. And I was like, 
okay this isn't something which is working with a slight bit of flavoring because i just did not like the taste of soy uh, milk uh, just the natural milk and um, if i would add something like elaichi green cardamoms which i'm going to be like even using in this recipe for the flavor it it didn't cut that flavor that bitter flavor at all plus i really had some issues with soy because a lot of the soy on the market i think today is gmo i i, I am not being able to buy into that soy is that much uh, of a good uh, alternative as it is made to be so yeah i think that is when at the same time i moved out of my home and i had my own kitchen here and i just i i saw some videos online and i was like hmm maybe i mean if they can do it then so can i yes i don't have a uh, what is it called a item mix but definitely i can try it with the mixer grinder which i have so i gave it a shot and i was quite impressed by the outcome and i continue to do it and it really suits me i like it i continue to do it and i also continue to improvise on it yeah it also becomes a source for me to have green cardamoms elaichi because they really suit me the great for me and i i somehow feel okay in summers when i have this drink uh this almond milk which i'm going to make along with the elaichi in it it's cooling for me i just have this feeling i don't warm it up in summers at all and in winters if i warm it up i actually don't like the taste so i guess i don't like it warmed up i just like it cool sometimes in winters it's tricky to drink something cool because you really want something warm to soothe you because it gets so cold so chilly here and yeah but in summers it rocks it really cools my body i love it it just it's amazing i really thoroughly enjoy this drink in summers so i'll now take you through my recipe and let's see um do try it and then you can let me know um how did you find it and if you've already tried some uh, recipes already of um, almond milk then do let me know if you feel that there's any difference between this recipe and the one you've already tried so here what you see is a 1/4 cup this is 1/4 cup measurement there this is 1/4 cup of soaked almonds which i have soaked overnight and these are indian almonds not california almonds then here in this sauce pot i have taken um two cups of water drinking water which i'm going to boil with green cardamoms the next thing that i need is this little cotton pouch that i have hand sewn i use it as a sieve for my almond milk it's um double layered from inside and then the container in which i'm going to store my almond milk and yes of course i'm going to need the mixer grinder mixer jar whatever works so my first um step is uh that since i've taken 1/4 cup of uh indian almonds and i've taken already 2 cups of um water i'm going to put the water to a boil here it goes to a boil and while it boils i am going to peel these cardamom seeds i'm not going to peel the seeds with the pods remove the seeds try to crush them a bit in the pestle and mortar 
and then add it to the water. Then later on we're going to use this water in making our almond milk. So the water is already coming to a boil and I'm really trying to crush these um, cardamom seeds and already crushed and powdered cardamom seeds I don't think they work for this just like fresh black pepper has its own fresh antioxidant and fresh aroma similarly I feel like that with everything and plus um, hand crushing such a tiny amount of green cardamoms doesn't really harm so currently I'm using this really tiny small and inconvenient vessel and motor but it's because back when I wanted a pestle and motor this is all that I was able to find in my nearby market but definitely one day I would like to upgrade to a bigger uh, marble pestle and motor it's just that I'm kind of making do with this one because otherwise I wouldn't know what to do with this one and then I'm gonna feel like oh my god um, what a waste of money I keep wasting things and then I'll go into this cycle of thought where I would be like um, <clears throat> why don't I buy wisely why can I not be patient why do I buy whatever I see first and stuff like that alright so the water is boiling and now you see me as the crushed cardamoms which have not been actually very successful at crushing but we're gonna allow that to boil at sim for a while in the meanwhile I'm gonna um, rinse these uh, soaked almonds I'm gonna rinse them really well and then I'm going to try to uh, remove their cover. The, I'm going to try to peel them off. If you, if you feel like it's hard for you to peel them like this, then you can try one simpler method, which is just you don't even have to soak these almonds overnight. You just have to put them in hot water for a few seconds uh, hot or boiling water for a few seconds and then the peel naturally gets loose so after rinsing it in cold water you can like easily squeeze the almond like that and just the peel will automatically come off I do that sometimes myself so if normal almonds like California almonds they would cost me around 200 rupees for 250 grams but Indian almonds cost me 250 rupees for 250 grams so that's the difference and I think it's it's a different variety and Indian almond variety is more nutritious so I think I might just grind these almonds with the skin but usually I do prefer to have the skin removed for some reason today I might just do it with the skin sometimes I do grind it with the skin it it doesn't affect anything as such mm, yeah it's just a choice no big deal so 
in the meanwhile, I've allowed this to simmer for five minutes. Yes, and now I, I'm gonna keep it in the freezer for it to cool. Obviously, I, I cannot add hot water to my grinder. So I wanna let it cool as much as possible um, before I start grinding. Do you know one thing about these Indian almonds that I noticed is if you eat them raw, they're bitter. But if you soak them overnight or for like 8 to 10 hours basically then they taste really good they're not bitter at all I know I shouldn't be eating them I'm eating them actually Raw almonds don't suit me. I read somewhere online about some cross allergy concepts and so I already have allergy to um, seasonal pollens. It's a cross allergy means like since I'm allergic to seasonal pollens also there's a greater chance that I'm automatically allergic to almonds also i didn't know that at all but then i started noticing this thing that um doesn't matter if i'm eating raw almonds or whether i'm eating um eating um soaked almonds um i just get this um pus filled pimple here right here in my nose each and every time so it's fine today i ate like these four or five almonds that's fine but if i do that continuously for two day two days or more than that then yeah i'm gonna get that um pimple right here i, I think i also get that pimple when i eat ashwagandha i don't know <laughs> stuff Actually, I should have added the water very little by little. So I'm gonna remove the water. You don't wanna add too much water in one go. Because you want the almonds to first get grinded and then eventually add more water. I'll show you. That much is what I would have added. So first I'm gonna pulse it at the level 1 and then eventually I'll go to level 2 and then level 3. what's inside uh, okay I should pulse it a bit more before adding more water
gonna press this pouch really gently just make sure that you've washed your pouch very hygienically I think that is holding true for all your kitchen towels because you're using them near food so just make sure you wash them really hygienically whether you like to boil them or whether you want to like hand wash them whatever strategy suits you so here you see I have drained out the milk and this is what remains so I don't know what to do with this if any of you guys have any idea what to do with it then do let me know but currently I have no idea yeah, I, I do feel maybe I can add it to my cakes or I can put a face mask. Well, it's been so long since I've put any face mask. I just don't get the time. And I'd probably preserve it in the fridge. I also have last batch ka preserve in my fridge. And I've not done anything with it. If any of you know what to do with it, do let me know. So typically the way I would have this is I would pour in some honey I keep my honey in the refrigerator because otherwise it will have a ant attack so um Yesterday, you know, I was kind of correlating that <laughs> with um, uh, generally in life also. That, you know, sweetness should be... Oh God, this uncle is so loud. Wait. I guess it's a little better here. So, I was saying... Uh, Sweetness in life should be kept in a cold temperature because otherwise it attracts an ant attack. Ants are basically parasites which come and spoil your sweet thing. So it's kind of like this this uh, philosophy uh, I was thinking about that you know sometimes if you're a sweet person you should also be a bit cold because if you're too sweet then obviously there's a chance that people are just gonna eat you up and misuse you but when I was thinking about it but you know if, if one is cold while being sweet and I kind of equate being cold with having healthy boundaries and exerting your boundaries. I'm sorry, my hair looks so bad. I'm so sorry. So, I'll, I'll try, to, try to show this profile, not that profile. So, yeah, so I was like, if, if you're a cold person, then that's not appreciated. But then that's what it is. People don't appreciate you having boundaries. Nobody wants you to have boundaries. Nobody wants you to exert your boundaries. Because they, then they cannot kind of exploit you and make you do things if you have boundaries. And I was like, if one is like a little cold and sweet, Maybe that strikes a balance because if you're sweet, then being a little cold helps you to preserve your sweetness. Now, it is up to you whether you want to lose your sweetness and not only lose, in fact, have it attacked and exploited and, you know, like we talk about energy vampires, so they're just parasites which who feed over you so 
so if you you want to lose your sweetness to a parasite be attacked by a parasite or do you prefer to always be a sweet person but still you know ha- by having some uh, healthy boundary i don't want to drag that too long it's, it's kind of complicated and it's kind of clear but it's food for thought nonetheless Okay, so I've poured in a little bit of honey. Now I am going to, and you do the honey thing according to taste. Now I'm gonna pour in my milk, and this spoon is definitely much big for this glass, but I couldn't find my chota wala spoons, the smaller spoons. So hopefully this works. instead of moving this spoon like this i literally am having to rotate it <laughs> because it's so big oh my god i need the honey to get mixed properly you can have it without honey if that's what you like it's totally up to you i hope my honey's gotten mixed Let's drink it up and see how it is. Really good, as always. Amazing, just like always. So I hope you enjoyed this entire thing. If you wanna see. more of this then stay connected subscribe hit the bell icon so that you get notified and like share my video do comment take care and be optimistic and have faith because the times which are currently i've seen a few people they're getting uh, very panicked Oh, the economy is coming down. This is happening. That's happening. Black lives are not mattering. This and that. Okay, but take a deep breath. Calm yourself down and have faith. That's all I would say.